and welcome to Card Combat. We are back on Half Thor's Frozen Land. Thank you so much for having us back here, man. Thank you. How do you provide people full night of, an, of entertainment? How could I say no? Well, you'll be pleased because we've got some more epic fights lined up for you tonight, which, quite frankly, will be out of this world. Yes, thank you very much, Thor and Layla. Two fantastic bouts coming your way tonight. we a 64-kilo ladies' bout between Anna Laura Prezzotti and Amira Molina. That's an all-South American affair. And then in the 75-kilo category, Vitaly Sertan is going to take on Nikita Janchuk. Yeah, Janchuk, he came in, and uh, it's uh, like the Russians are going to take over. <laughs> he, he's so confident that he's going to be the champion here at the Rad Combat. And of course, Sertan has a different view of that. He's very fast. He's got fast kicks, good timing, so it's very hard to put a guy like that away. Now these ladies, both these ladies 100% believe that they can beat each other. That always makes for a great fight. Certainly does. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rules of Karate Combat. Let's take a look at the specially designed 21 by 21 foot karate combat pit. As you can see, the walls are shaped in a 45 degree angle, which karate guys can use to their advantage. They can run up, push off, flying kicks all over the place. Now, they're gonna compete for three rounds of three minutes, and if it goes to a tie, there will be a sudden death overtime round. Now, let's take a look at these beautiful design karate combat gloves. Just enough padding on the knuckle to protect the hand and just enough to knock your opponent out. Let's go over some additional rules. Now, scoring is based on aggressiveness. That means the more aggressive you are, the more points you're going to get. Oh, counter-striking isn't counted as much. Secondly, we took the knees and elbows out. Why would we do that? Because we want to separate the fighters so you people at home can see beautiful technique. Lastly, takedowns are legal in karate combat. That means, yes, you can sweep the leg, take him down, rain down strikes for five seconds until the referee comes in. Oh, let me demonstrate. All these rules are designed to showcase the beauty and power of karate. Oh, Soy de Venezuela, nací en Caracas, en la parroquia La Vega. Actualmente estoy en Panamá, pero me voy a ir a Nueva York. Allá este, puedo desarrollar mis habilidades deportivas y de esta manera ayudar a mi familia. Me gusta entrenar en la selva. Mi coach, el sensei José Guerrero, está en Nueva York. Eh, aquí en Panamá entreno en ocasiones sola, pero muchas veces pido apoyo de mis amigos y mis amigas para prepararme para las próximas peleas de karate combo. El karate me ha enseñado disciplina y muchos valores. En un momento tuve una mala experiencia de un ataque de arma. Gracias al karate pude tener autocontrol y cuidar mi integridad. El karate está en mis venas. Crecí en una escuela de karate. Toda mi familia, mi mamá, mi papá, fue mi entrenador natural. Mi hermano fue mi fan número uno. Él siempre me apoyaba en las buenas y en las malas. En varias ocasiones, cuando pequeño, le di clases y con su esfuerzo y con su dedicación, eh, tuvo su cinturón negro. Mi hermano luego se enfermó. Él tenía 12 años y yo 21. Tu, es, le dio leucemia linfoblástica y tuve que pedir apoyo al presidente de Venezuela. Hicimos un trasplante de médula en Italia, pero me lamenta mucho decir que un año después mi hermano falleció. Él es mi ángel, es mi inspiración. Él luchó y batalló como un guerrero. Yo también voy a luchar como él. Y por eso me llamo La Guerrera. Me gusta ayudar a la gente y ponerlos en forma y enseñarles lo que yo aprendí. Actualmente doy clases a mis estudiantes por clases online de karate y de funcional. lo que me propongo, pero no dejando de ser femenina y al final siendo victoriosa.
Yo era una persona agresiva, pero a la vez enfocada. Me gusta entrenar con personas que les guste mejorar y para mí es un desafío, sea hombre o mujer. Siempre estoy dispuesta para aprender. En mi primera pelea de Karate Comba, físicamente estaba preparada, pero peleé con mucha emoción. Ya corregí ese error y ahora estoy preparada para todo. Nació una guerrera. Soy la guerrera. Welcome back to Karate Combat and wow have we got a women's fight for you next. Anna Laura Prasati taking on Omira Molina. These are two fantastic up and coming young women and Bass a lot of potential here. Yeah, she has Molina, she loves to dance, the salsa, she's going to use that as footwork in the pit here. She won the last fight but she said she was holding back. She worked hard on low kicks and a throwing combination, let her opponent miss and then countered those strikes. Now Prasati says her opponent is good, she's just better. She likes the ma marshy gear, which is the roundhouse kick to the head. She also worked more on boxing. She's going to box and wrap it up with you. And for the Brazilian Ana Laura Prasotti, recently qualifying for the national team for the Olympics. That was her last event. How much confidence is that going to give her moving forward here? Huge. I mean, experience is everything. Like it, you know, that's going to help a lot in this fight. And I believe, um, you know, her having that experience is going to play a big, big part. Well, let's see if it does. This is an intriguing matchup. Stay with us as we lock in that fight selector. Yeah. Sempre almejei isso, sempre quis entrar no Karate Comba. Eu tô muito ansiosa pra luta, mas a gente treinou muito. Eu acho que eu tô muito mais do que preparada pra isso. Eu acho que vai ser uma luta difícil, mas que vai dar tudo certo. Soy la guerrera. Mis peleas siempre se las dedico a mi familia. Son mi gran motivación. La chica de Brasil es una guerrera igual que yo. Y bueno, que gane la mejor, vamos con todo. To the pit, we welcome our competitors, Anna Laura Brusotti in the white pants, blue corner and black pants for Omaira Lina Lagarera, the warrior. And there is some intention Lina. on the faces of Lina. these ladies, Bass. Yes, there are. There is. I'm really looking forward to this fight. I mean, I think that Molina did really well last time. And the fact that she says she was holding back and now she's going to full, go full out. In the red corner from Brazil. The storm in the red corner from Brazil. Recently turned 18, she is the youngest fighter on the Karate Combat roster, and she's got a bit of a reach advantage in the legs there, 40 inches at just five foot six. In the blue corner from Venezuela, La Guadera, Omaira Molina. 19 years old, Omaira Molina. We've seen her once before. She said she was very emotional in that first full contact fight, but now she really knows what to expect. He's going to turn it up here. Fighters, enter the pit! Back up. Back up. And our fighters have entered the pit. Three minutes on the clock here. Round one, fight! And no touch of, well, I was going to say no touch of gloves, but a tentative one, and they immediately open up with the shots. Oh, wow. Most of Prozotti's accolades coming in the junior category. She's only had a couple of competitions so far as an adult. Of course, one of those, the Brazilian uh, Olympic qualifiers. So, not a bad way to start your adult career. Yeah, we think so, yeah. Fight together, teammate! Melina said she wanted to make her opponent miss and really dominate, use that experience advantage of this rule set to take advantage of the very first contact. And that really explains why they started so fast here. Double right straight there. 
Good shots from Molina. Repeated right hooks. Keep it clean, girls. Hey, let's do I think she's being warned for perhaps holding with the offhand and grabbing with the offhand while she struck. It's a nice skating move. Hockey. <laughs> nice low kick. She said she worked on that. Front kick attempt from Prisotti. Ties up again and there's a nice off balance from Molina. It wasn't clean, but it got the job done. And these are big shots. strikes. Wow. Turn around. Jack Hammer. Straight shots, had one knee on the mat, that is allowed. And Molina with a real measuring stance here. Rosotti closes the distance back into a clinch. Hey, listen, ladies. Hey, keep it clean, ladies. Come on, be ladies. Let's fight. Kevin had a little trouble with the ladies there. <laughs> Prozzotti was doing a good job keeping that right hand up. Got to be careful of ducking Ooh, in, and that is a oh. nice head kick, a wow. good sequence. And the second one missed. Yeah, just Barely. missing. <laughs> There's that low kick again she worked on. Good shot right. from Molina as Prozzotti closes. Stop, stop, tie, tie, over there. One point out for grabbing the shirt. One point oh, out. One point and our referee, out. Kevin Sataki, after warning her for grabbing the opponent's uniform once already, he's had no choice but to take a point off Omira Molina, just making very clear that she understands why this has happened. All right, let's do it. Keep it clean. Those point deductions, Bass, they really hurt you under a 10 point mask. Yeah, because now she lost the round. Well, potentially, at the very least, it's a draw. But yeah. Still 35 seconds left here. Prozzotti opening up with some kicks to the body. Oh, and a good attempt at the turnaround from Prozzotti. Outside trip from Molina now. The referee making sure there's a clean break. And they really want to get stuck in in the dirty boxing, don't they? Well, these ladies love it. 10 second warning comes in. Final flurry of action here. Five, five, Tried the hook kick, but really couldn't deal with the distance being closed that quickly. Yeah, I think this is an evil round now. Like you said, you know, I think Melinda was ahead, but the point deduction that make it like, let's say, the draw. Yeah. Thor, how much do you think that's going to impact her mental state, knowing that you could have won the round, but a silly rule infringement could take that away from you? I mean, it just all depends how strong she is here. You know, if she's just focused on herself, focused on the game, uh, she should be fine. I mean, she's young, so it actually could affect her. Let's take a look at some of these replays here, and that was significant that. ground and pound. Big strikes. And also standing, she had like multiple right straights in a row. That was a really great kicking combination by Prozzotti. That beautiful Yoko Giri. Oh, look at that. Yeah, it's beautiful head movement in defense, though, Side wasn't it? kick, oof. She just lost her belt for that high kick. We dive into the corner of Omara Molina. Some good deep breaths there, trying to get the oxygen back into the lungs. And the referee is just making very sure that her coach has clearly explained to her why the point deduction happened. And we'd hate to see another rule infringement come in. Are you ready? Are you ready? Well, let's do this, ladies! Our referee gets this underway. Another three minutes on the clock. Prozzotti immediately fainting out, opening up with kicks. Nice right hand, landing on the button. And Molina, another one, and another one. Again, that hook kick attempt, and it's a sweep back. Five, but not able to establish three, cleanly on top. Two, one, and they're going to come back up to the feet here. Five. It's very much uh, a hook kick on a closing opponent's very much from Point Karate, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But on the way way hook kick as well to her opponent. Molina did. Five, four, That's three, it. If your opponent takes you down, just hold us. Just get strike. Yeah, and we're she gets pulled over there, back to a standing position with some strikes. It's good awareness from the competitors to know that they have to reach a legal position to execute that ground and pound, which she did by standing on both feet cleanly. Through the first minute here.
straight shots again to close the distance from Molina. They like to fight in the phone booth, right? <laughs> yeah, they're both accepting the clinch. Back kick to the body. Ooh, nice high kick. Both very hard pressure guys. Yep, absolutely. Fight to get out! Molina closes forward to the clinch again. Would you like to see more kicks perhaps from Prezzotti? Yeah, because she has really great kicks. And why not? But then again, you know, she missed a few kicks and got counted right away, so maybe that shuts her down. So she swings wildly in defense again, looks for the hook kick coming in. Is bundled to the ground. Molina again with the ground and pound. She's going to get warned for a shot to the back of the head. And She's got to be very careful here. She doesn't get on the wrong side of Guys, our referee. Final minute in this second round. Black pants for Amira Molina, white pants for Ana Laura Prezzotti. This 64 kilo ladies bout here at Karate Combat. Three right straights again. <laughs> she was holding. All right. Let's go. Well, I think she's. The okay, referee good. is warning Prezzotti for holding the back of the head oh, now okay. and striking. I thought that we got another one. There we go. And there's Some a yoga dog fly action. action. <laughs> then you, there's the low kick again. She should use that more also after punch combinations. Again, getting a nice head position there in the clinch initially. Prezzotti tries to move around. No real shots on the break though. 10 second comes in, good spinning back oh, again nice, again. Nice this kicks. time, you see the head kick lands. Yep. And there we go. Three, stop, stop, stop. And a little bit scrappy towards the end there. It's, it's, it's around. Let's go, baby. The referee sends them very decisively back to their corners, and a lot to pick apart in that one, gents. The referee's going to have another word to them about some of the rules, infractions, perhaps. Let's go ahead and take a look at the replays from that second round. And this was where... reversals, right? Yeah, and she immediately got back to her feet to establish a striking position. There's the back kick. She comes with that high kick here. And now she all goes to get reversed with the... Oh, no, not in this one. The second one she gets reversed. That's the Yoko Giri, the sidekick. Oh, look at that. Wow, that missed a couple of inches. Just managed to take the pressure off with the lean. Head movement saved her. Back down into the pit. We've got one more round of action here. Anna Laura Prezzotti and Amira Molina. Round three. Fight. Yeah, Prezzotti needs to kick uh, the kicks through. She's doing it at point karate right now. She's pulling the kicks, and that's why she didn't land that last punch. Yeah, really got to, got to work on the follow through. Here we go again. Rock and soccer oh, robot. Look at that. Both of them taking shots there. Listen, listen, come here. I'm not going to tell you again. I'll keep taking points from you if you grab the shirts. Do you understand me? Trying to see. Let's. Do you understand me? See if right. we can understand up, what the ruling up. was. Fight. Well, we'll get a we'll get a word from him afterwards, perhaps. Front kick. Prezzotti opening up with a front kick. Big right hand. And again, striking there by Molina. I think it's safe to say, Thor, doesn't really Beautiful feel like... Hit throw there. Doesn't feel like there's any love lost between these two. No, no, this is pure business. Stand up! Quiet, I see everything. And Prezzotti's complaining, perhaps, about her uniform being grabbed again, but it's not up to her, it's up to the referee to keep an eye on that. She's got to focus on her opponent, which right now is Amira Molina. Two minutes left in this one. And you can see the punch is a bit, bit slower now, a little bit wider. Big swings. Yeah, credit though, keeping the guard up high in defense. A side kick there by Molina. Oh, that was really nicely done using the wall. It missed, but I like the attention. Turn around, turn around, turn around, Anna. Let's fight. Molina said she felt particularly free under this rule set to just let loose. Very competitive athlete generally, actually did a Ninja Warrior show over in, uh, in Brazil, uh, Venezuela. Venezuela, sorry. Prior to this event. And she did good, she went to the second, I believe, right? I think so. Yeah. Whoa, look at that, that was a big shot landing. You've got to say a good, good takedown again. again. 
down. Yeah, Prasanti is smarter now. She just grabs the head, takes it down so she can't be hit. Yeah, nice of Gari to partner on the floor there. You've got to say, perhaps on balance, guys, Melina has been the one coming forward more often. Clean break. She's looking for it. That offensive striking is primarily the thing our judges are looking at. Obviously, other aspects of defense, takedowns, no, hit control. Nope. But offensive legal strikes are the key here at Karate Combat. 30 seconds left on the clock. There we have that throw. Three times she tried it, four times was a shot. Sure. Yeah, nice clean hip throw, but not able to posture up and land strikes. And both slow getting back to the feet here. They've got 10 seconds left. And again. Final seconds. As we close this fight out, the distance taken up by Anna Laura Prezzotti and Omira Molina. And they both didn't look very happy with each other. Prezzotti slams the mat while talking to her coach, Williams Carino, in the corner. Take a look at some of the replays. Marka, look at this, beautifully done by Molina. Great strikes afterwards. Beautiful strike landed. There's another one. Yeah, she's been working that for sure. And also on her ground and pound. So anxious moments for the two ladies here. One of them is going to walk away with the victory. Is it going to be debutante Anna Laura Brazzotti or the slightly more experienced Omira Molina? Let's throw it over to our MC, who's going to give us the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner, Omira Molina! So that point deduction not coming into play in the end. Myra Molina able to get it done on all three of our judges' scorecards. And a show of, well, a nice. slight show of sportsmanship <laughs> yeah. at the end there. I think there might be a little bit of uh, saltiness for a little while. Yeah, women. <laughs> let's let's uh, head over to the corner where... Omira Molina is going to have a word with our hostess, Leila Annalee. What an incredible fight to watch. Now, I know you never underestimate an opponent, but she came at you in the first round with some highly unpredictable movements. Did, it, did she make you change your game plan? Bueno, eh, la componente de Brasil, bastante guerrera. Eh, yo respeto las grandes peleas y soy bastante reñida. Eh, felicitaciones a ella. Seguir ajustando, seguir trabajando. Eh, a pesar de los problemas, independientemente que uno tenga, es importante seguir ajustando, ser humilde y seguir enfocado a mejorar para la siguiente pelea. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Well done. Thank you. A good win for Amira Molina. She moves to 2 and 0 oh here at Karate Combat. Some exciting fights, I'm sure, that we can set up for her. Let's go ahead and look back at all the action from that bout. Let's go ahead and look back at all the action. Boom, yeah, she's grabbing the shirt there. Ice hockey mode. Yeah. They start drilling each other back and forth with those strikes. Like I said, it's almost like they're fighting in the phone booth. Molina has take down. Molina has some, you know, trouble with the with the ref, ref, referee right in the beginning, but she stick to the game, game plan and she delivered. Yeah, she was the aggressor also. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, most of the fight was spent with Molina surging forward and Prozzotti having to try and strike on the back foot. As you see there, some lovely ground and pound landed by Molina. And also landing those low kicks, something that she told us that she was going to do. She wrote hard on those low kicks. And look at that beautiful throw again. Yeah, it took a little time to get her loaded onto the hip, but it was a brilliant finish for her. She gets her arm raised here and moves on in her karate combat career. Stay with us here at Karate Combat. Lots more action from the pit coming your way. Join us again shortly. Здравствуйте, меня зовут Никита Янчук, мой прозвище «Разрушитель». Я выступаю первый раз в организации «Карата Комбат». Это полноконтактные бои. 
Мой следующий соперник будет Виталий Сахтан из Португалии. Очень опытный, хороший боец. Но он еще не понимает, с какой угрозой он на самом деле столкнулся и что его ждет в бою. Я сделаю все, чтобы сломать его. Я крыто мать на ковежу, но на ковежу, por isso, vai se resolver essa questão dentro do pit. Por isso, no final do combate, vamos ver o que é que ele disse e que em prática. Eu não gosto de falar muito, mas sim gosto de mostrar. Eu conquisto o oceano como conquisto os meus oponentes. Torno fluido como as ondas. Uma vez que compreendes e respeitas a natureza da feira, consegues superá-la. Quando me mudei para Portugal, comecei a surfar. Um dia entrei no mar, aparentemente calmo. Quando as ondas vieram, vi o verdadeiro tamanho. O mundo é grande, puxou para o fundo do mar, não conseguia respirar. Pensei que ia morrer, mas mantive a calma e consegui superar isso. Essa experiência fez mais forte, fez-me perder o medo, mas nunca o respeito. E agora, o mar é a minha casa. Nasci na Moldávia, entre a Ucrânia e a Roménia. Com sete anos, entrei no evento de luta clandestina, onde o prémio era um chocolate. No final desse evento, tive que esconder a minha t-shirt e ser aguentada dos meus pais. Mas acreditem que no final da luta, eu trouxe aquele chocolate para casa. Aos oito anos, inscrevi-me no Karatê. Adorei tudo aquilo e não me safava nada mal. E também comecei a praticar parkour. Por isso é que me começaram a chamar de ninja. Vim para Portugal aos 12 anos e foi aí que conheci meu mestre e segundo pai, o mestre Vitor Poças. Ele ajudou-me a tornar um homem e compreende exatamente o que é que um jovem precisa para ter sucesso. E ele é meu mentor e ele é meu mestre. As palavras que ele me disse e que eu encaro como regras para a vida são nunca, nunca desistas. Se não te esforçares, nunca vais saber quão longe poderás chegar. Quando entrei para o Karate Combat, tive que mudar a minha estratégia. Sempre quis lutar full contact. E este era o meu sonho. Por exemplo, no Karate Combat, um KO é um KO. Com apenas um golpe, posso ganhar um combate. Eu só precisava ser um guerreiro. O meu combate no One World Trade Center foi incrível. Eu senti que não tinha experiência. Os meus pontapés, os meus socos e a minha estratégia precisavam ser afinados. Não me arrependo de nada naquele combate. Três rounds, três minutos, não é para todos. No Karate é por pontos. Sempre que marcamos um, combate para. No Karate Combat, a stamina é muito importante. Quando entras no pit, ou comes ou és comido. Quando lutei com o Gabriel Sera, eu sabia o que tinha que fazer. Ele estava melhor do que no último combate dele em Nova York, mas eu tinha que estar melhor que ele. Tinha que ter a certeza que levava o chocolate para casa. Cheers! You are back watching Karate Combat. We've got a 75 kilo bout up for you now. Vitaly Sertan from Portugal is taking on a debutant in Russian, Nikita Yanchuk. Yeah, Yanchuk, he's a drag racer. He loves to beat this guy. It's crazy. He says he feels great. He trains in Kudo, which is a blend of Kikushin Karate together with Judo. Now he's going to pressure his opponent. And then he says he's going to, and I say it like he says, destroy my <laughs> opponent because uh. he's from Russia. Now Sertan, he worked on speed and timing. He says that his opponent doesn't have great timing. He waits for his opponent to attack and he's going to counter that attack. Now Sertan, of course, has the experience edge here, but Thor, you took a look at our competitors backstage. What did you think? I did indeed. You know what? This fight, I cannot wait for this fight. I saw Nikita earlier on backstage and he looked a little bit crazy. I have to admit that. Just a I'm little excited. Bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> Let's go nice. ahead and lock in that fight selector. Sinto-me agora muito confiante para lutar com o meu próximo adversário, o Nikita. Não basta sermos rápidos, não sabermos utilizar esta rapidez. Eu não gosto de falar muito, mas sim gosto de mostrar. Для меня это уже никаким сюрпризом не будет, так как я выходил из полноконтактного карате кудо. Я просто делаю свою работу и сделаю все возможное для победы.
seat. Vitaly Sertan in the red corner, taking on Nikita Janchuk in the blue corner. Very focused faces here, Bas. <laughs> Janchuk, man, you like this set? Uh... I have thought this guy looks very intense. He does indeed. Yeah. This is going to be exciting. In the red corner from Portugal, Vitali Sertan! Vitali Sertan, one and one record here at Karate Combat. Little bit of a disadvantage in the reach department for him, so he's expecting to have to use his timing, which he thinks is his best weapon. In the blue corner from Russia, Nikita! Debutant from Russia, Nikita Yanchuk. This guy is an adrenaline junkie. He knows a little about, about his opponent. He is looking to pressure and destroy. Fighters, enter the pit. Go back, go back. Good. Our referee, Sam Amidi, to get this one underway. White pants for Vitaly Sertan, a black pants for Nikita Yanchuk. Touch of gloves, orthodox stance for both fighters. And some good timing measurements here. Trying to figure each other out early. Jancic's opened up with a couple of those low calf kicks. Yeah, he's doing great. You see the, the way he stands, you know. Holding his shoulders oh. up very hunched, isn't he? That much more traditional guard. Yeah. Waves off that kick from Sertan. Ooh, he timed that well, that left kick. Yeah, and there's some pop in those, isn't there? <laughs> yeah. That was nice. It's the difference you see between really following through on your kicks and, and having that intention to do the damage. It is that he lost his belt a little bit from that right low kick that Sertan gave him. That's why he couldn't land that big punch, but it was close. It's Sertan. a warning for Sertan. He needs to set it up with strikes. Sertan measuring with that lead hand here. You see, he's looking to feint with the hands open. Much more that karate stylist than Yanchak, who has the blended background with Kudo. Yeah, Kudo will definitely help him in this fight. With the throws. Janczak very definite that he was not looking for a decision here. Oh, man. Oh, that could be a Big finish. Power, left hook, right straight. He follows up here with... On the button. Almost an accidental flying knee. Well, he might still be dazed from there because that thing landed. Oof. Well, he's back to the center quickly, looking composed again, but Janczak really coming forward now. We should go for the body now. His, his hands, he will keep his guard up, trust me. So go for body shots. Janczak again firing to that low leg. Really starting to move, get in the rhythm now. It's a little bit of movement like Edgar Screamers, right? Our champion. Yeah. Look That's at this. So done miss. Beautifully done. Yeah, beautiful catch of the kick. Comes forward, not able to clear the legs, but still firing over the top of them. He's only making him more angry. <laughs> <laughs> So measuring that jab, perhaps dropping the hand a little bit low as he pulled it back, though. Mm -hmm. Are you working? Zertan. Walk up his terrible low. Oh, 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 oh again, oh. that left hook cross. Good Almost sequence. again. Forward from Janchuk there into the final 10 seconds now. Oof. Spinning kick misses. Fast. That is an aggressive first round from both competitors here. As they hop back up to their corners, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the highlights, which I'm sure will include that Level, right hand. Left to cross, boom, on the head. Beautiful. Boom, nice high kick, but look, used as a takedown for Sertan. A little ground and pound action there. Take a look in the corners. There's Nikita Yanchuk. Guys, Vitaly Sertan said he had plans A, B, C, D, E, and whatever more he needed. He felt he could adapt to anything Yanchuk was bringing. What's, what's Sertan got to do moving into this second round? 
Ooh, I would uh, say again, you know, against a great striker, you want to push the fight. I think he needs to use his speed, more kicks, maybe go uh, for body kicks, but set those kicks up with punches because before now, he almost got knocked out after a right kick. And Thor, Nikita Janczak had said to us he had visualized a second round knockout. How important is that pre visualization for the plan you're going to execute? I mean, I'm, I'm a big believer in like visualizing and see, seeing things go, you know, and, and it could well go in, in the second round. We'll, we'll see. Yeah, he's certainly uh, shown that he can knock him out if he lands. Absolutely. Question is, can he? Frantic pace again at the start here. A lot of movement from both competitors. Big feint from Sertan, but it's Janczak right. who closes first. That same combination, he loves that combination. We have two quite straight, they wrap it up with the left kick. Body kick, back kick to the body, beautiful. Joseph, that is super fast, his legs. Like that front kick to the face that he threw. Oof. Yeah, Sertan said he, he'd heard his opponent was fast, but he said speed's okay, timing's better, but he hasn't quite been able to figure out the timing of Nikita Janczak yeah, yet. Yeah. Yes. And that's better oh. from Sertan, managing to get some offense off, but Janczak smiles at him. Yeah, look at him. Is that a little bit demoralizing when your opponent does that? I think you like that. <laughs> <laughs> nice spinning back kick again. Just grazed him. Good lean to take his head out of the way of that kick. Hitting the halfway point of the entire bout here. In the middle of round two and leaping Very left good. right hand. Same combination. That's like the fourth or fifth time he threw it. So he changed it right there. Left two quite straight to the body. And then the height. Luckily just caught the guard there. That's the probably the fastest we've seen Sertan close that distance so far. And that's what he needs to do the whole time because he has the speed. On a single kick, you should come forward. Interesting hand motions from Janczak. Really making it all part of his fainting and movement routine. So Tom, when he moves backwards, and he pretty much knows it's going to be a hook cross left high kick, block the right hi left high kick, count with the right straight. That's what I would tell him in the corner. Some nice ground and pound there from Janczak. Russian national kudo champion is Janczak. Likewise, Portuguese national champion is Vitaly Sertan. Nicely evenly matched so far here. Into the final 10 seconds of round number two. No, 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 keep on 10 seconds. Oof, that was a nice right high kick. You okay? Touch of gloves at the end there. Round number two is in the books. We're going to look back at some of the action from that round. Cross, left high kick. That's the go-to move from him. Now Sultan needs to now block that last kick and counter with the right stroke. Who's that? See, left kick again. You should start timing it now. I hope it's going to saw it. There we go, into the corner of Nikita, ja uh, sorry, of Vitaly Sertan. Some heavy breaths, some words of advice. Nikita Janczak's prediction of a second round KO not coming to fruition, so he's got to switch up his game plan as well. What do you think so far he's doing all the right thing? I think he's doing great, but he, I think he needs to change it up a little bit, you know? The left hook right straight, make it maybe a liver shot right straight, or a left hook and a right straight to the body, and then come with the high kick, you know? To do the combination over and over again, you have a pattern, and the pattern can be countered. Absolutely, totally agree. Final round, the time ready. The keeper ready, let's do this. Well, both guys still looking very fresh here, at least outwardly showing their opponent they're still fresh. Both of them with a fair degree of pit control throughout. By the border. <laughs> An oh. errant low blow, nothing deliberate. 
Yeah, yeah Jancic gets. Uh, let's take a look at the replay here. Yes. Yeah, that was close. And I think Sertan knew that, uh, mate, my heel did not go where it was supposed to go. Yeah, I think this was one of those things that it pulled the cup up. Oh, that would have been crazy cool from Sertan. So yeah, that would have landed. Jumping switch kick. It was close. Yeah. Great movement by Yanchu uh, coming in because that stopped it. And again, Sertan's kicks are really nice, very fast. All of these guys are very, very focused and in great shape. You can see that. There we go with the takedown. Yeah, condi oh. conditioning, as you say, Thor, absolutely on point here. Both putting yeah. pressure, both fighting hard. Yeah, not slowing absolutely down at all. Come on, we're not doing... Well, there are... Oh, jumping switch kick again. There are possibilities for going to a fourth round, depending on how the judges see it. Still got a minute 38 to stop that happening, however. <laughs> Sersam misses with that kick, just a little bit wide. They're still throwing with full intention. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. it was too close, but it would have been great. Yeah. Was that a reverse now, Mark? Yeah, <laughs> would have been an over platter, potentially go. got uh, the call on the way down. Sertan has stayed constant in his style of guard, measuring with that lead hand. Oh, and that's... The referee's going to break them here. Remember, you cannot commit both arms to the legs at the same time. And it's the second time, the first time you warn him for it, so he has to watch out. Right, wouldn't that be something? Got 42 seconds left. He does not want a point deduction. Oof. Whichever way this goes, guys, it's going to be a hard-fought victory for one of these two. Exactly. Yeah, it didn't come easy. Spinning back fist into front kick. Final 20 seconds Come here on. as Sertan closes the distance once more. There's again the uh, thing though. Yeah, now he's, he's close to being on the legs, but he was just around the body there. But he's going to pay the price, and that's a beautiful right hand from Sertan to close out the third round and to close out this fight. You have the pen down. And we have got an awful lot to dissect here. Not just us, the judges pit side as well. Let's take a look at some of the replays, guys. Boom. Yeah, it was not straight on it, but could have pulled it up. Oh, man, yeah, that was great timing. He came forward when he kicked the first kick. Thought it was a single kick. Oh, beautiful head kick there by Nikita. That hook kick. Man, if that would have been uh, four inches more back, more space, <laughs> that would have landed on the back of the head. Again, uncertain looks from both of our competitors here. They really don't know which way this one is going to go, and neither do we. Let's head down into the pit and see what this result is. Ladies and gentlemen, we have your winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner. goes to Nikita Yanchuk. Better is the overall offense, better is the aggressiveness, I think it's fair to say, throughout the four nine minutes as well. Good show of sportsmanship. Changing uh, telephone numbers now. You see, that's the cool thing about karate, right? I mean, they go to town on each other and right afterwards, respect. respect. Absolutely. Let's head over pit side where victorious Nikita Yanchuk joins our hostess, Leila Annalee. An incredible debut. You wanted to make a statement tonight. Do you feel you've done that? I don't know what you said. I'm bad at English. I'm talking. But I want to say that I'm going to give this victory to my wife, my child, who is born in February. This victory I'm going to do for him. And that's why I'm here. We saw you grow up. And that's why I'm here. 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 Виталий очень растет хорошо. Мне было с ним очень тяжело биться. Он очень думающий, очень тактичный боец. Я выражаю ему огромную благодарность и всей организации Карате Комбат за возможность выступать в вашей организации. Thank you. Thank you very much.
Nikita Yanchuk takes the win on his debut here at Karate Combat. An exciting athlete for sure. Let's take a look back at the whole fight and all of that action. All right, here we go. That's it at the start of it, the left hook right straight, and then wrap it up with the left kick. Here we go again. Boom, there's the kick. And we will see this combination a whole bunch of times. That was very nicely timed from Nikita, and he did it on the single kicks anyway. He was coming forward to strike. Boof, look at this high kick. Very well executed. That, oh, the Ushiro Mawashi there. That would have been great if that would have landed in the back of the head. There for Nikita Yanchuk. You said at the start of the show, you know, the Russians were coming and wanting to take over, and it's a good start for him. It's a good start for him, but I think he had a bigger of a problem than he thought originally he was going to have, because Sertan really gave him some uh, heat. Absolutely. Tough character indeed. Uh, before that, of course, we had a, a, a good little bounce uh, in the 64-kilo category. Anna Laura Prezosa and Omira Molina, perhaps a little bit over-eager showing that youth at times. Yeah, I think that uh, it looked like these ladies didn't like each other, you know? And because <laughs> of that, they really wanted to win by knockout, and that's why it was a little sloppy, so to say. They were just swinging for the fences. Absolutely. But it's been a great night here on Karate Combat. Thank you very much for joining us. From Bas Rutten, Half Thought, Leila Annalee, and myself, Josh Palmer, we'll see you next time. Look at that. Layla found some new friends.